Who found you guilty? The judge. The jury? Did you have a jury? Nope. No jury. No jury trial? No jury trial. For a felony? For a felony. No due process of law? None. They stated in there that I told them I was guilty and I wasn't their lying pieces of shit. I was not guilty. But they stated in there that I told them I was guilty. Right now we're going to talk to Eugene and Eugene's going to tell his story. So how long have you lived in Eugene? How long have you lived in Ironton? My whole life. Your whole life? You went to high school here? Yeah, Rock Hill. Did your mom or dad go to high school here? Yeah, Ironton. Ironton. And there, did their mom or dad go to school here? Yes. You're, so you're three, is there another generation before that? Another generation before that. Everybody's right here in Ironton. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. So now, now, when we started to talk, you started to tell your story a little bit, but I wanted to get it on camera. So when was your first problems with the police here in Ironton? I'd say 2015. 2015. And let's walk through that incident one step at a time so that the people can understand truly the tyranny and injustice. And this is an actual anarchist system. We're living in anarchy. So what, tell me what happened. Start from the beginning. Well, uh, I come home. And uh, like I said, it's back in 2015. And uh, police knocked on my door. He, uh, he knocked on the door, answered the door. And he tried to force his way through the door. The cop, so he knocks on the door for what reason? Does he say police until so you open the door? He didn't, he didn't say nothing. When I opened it with his foot, I stopped him. I said, well, what are you doing, Bo? He said, I'm looking for your brother and I know he's in the house. I said, dude, I just got home. I said, uh, you know, quite frankly, I really don't give a shit about you. And uh, he, pardon my language. Uh, you say what you want. And uh, he said, uh, he said, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and arrest you. He and threatens to arrest you for what? Uh, harbored in a fugitive. But there's no fugitive here, right? Nope. Okay. Does, is there proof that there's a fugitive here? Nope. And you say what when he says I'm harboring a fugitive? I told him do what you gotta do. And then what did he say to you? Uh, he told me to put my hands behind my back. In your own home? In my own home. And uh, he put cuffs on. The I torture told, cuffs. I told him, I said, uh, don't think that's a little bit too tight, bub. Oh! And he tightened them even more. Oh! Another person. Was it torture? Oh, yeah. How bad did it hurt? It hurt pretty bad. Yeah, because you're getting neuropathy. You're getting derm damage. Well, as wide as my shoulders are. Oh, yeah. So just so you guys know, can you do me a favor? Stand up for me, sir. Stand up for me. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Okay. He's bigger than me. Turn around. Show your back. I want to see your back. Okay. Just, just open your arms normal. Okay. That's how big he is. That's how wide this man is. So, so they try to force your arms behind your back. Yes. How's that feel? It hurt like a son of a... I'm of course. I'm going to be honest with you. And uh, I told him, I said, that, that, Bub, don't you think you need to loosen these up? Well, shut your mouth. You're not in charge. And that doesn't work. Did they get one pair or two pair on you? They, uh, they, they had to put two pair of cuffs. Two pair of cuffs together. Yeah. And that's still torture, right? Yes. And the wrists are how tight? Oh, it's tight. Tight, 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 I'll tight. I'll tell tight. you what, all the way around both of my wrists was bruised for a week. How many cop cars are outside? Uh, four. There's four cop cars at your house and they're arresting you. Yep. Do you have children? Yes, sir. Do your neighbors have children? Yes, sir. Uh huh. So now the neighbor kids, whether you like it or not, saw you going to jail in those double pair of cuffs, right? Yeah. Your neighbors saw it. Everybody. Lights are on, public humiliation. Cops are walking around like they're tough because they've got a badge and they don't have to take you on like a man. And there's no reason to arrest you anyway. And so now when they walk you out, how does, what's that? And, and what's the process? Like do they have a little tiny slot in a car to put you in. Yes. Okay. And so he's big. Do they have to kind of, how do you get into the car? I had to lay long ways in the back seat. But you had to lay long ways. Oh. Cause you couldn't fit in the car. I know. Cause they just give you this big of a slot. Cause you're a piece of shit. If a cop is as suspicious of you, where do your feet go? Uh, on, on the seat. I couldn't get in the car. Literally. I mean, it was, it was a very small space. Right. Right. Cause that's, that doesn't affect anybody's claustrophobic. You're not claustrophobic at all back there. Are you? No. Okay. They shut the door and where do you put your feet? Just up on the seat. You bend yep. your legs. Okay. Now they drive you to jail. It takes you like five, 10 minutes from here. And then they get you out of the car. And do they take you out of the torture cuffs? Oh no, 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 no. 
they didn't get me out since we went down there. They said that they was booking a couple of them, and I sat in that car for a little over an hour. In the car for an in, hour? In the car. Laying down your belly or your back? Back. On your back, laying on yes. your back, and your cuffs are underneath of you. Yes. And they're digging into your wrists. Yes. Ridiculous. And then what happens from there? Where do you go from there? Uh, we go in, and uh, they have me sit on a little bench that he got, uh, that he got in there. And uh, I Man. sat there, I know, 20, 25 minutes. Then I went and got, uh, I had to go change. Drop, squat, cough. Oh, everything. drop, squat, and cough. Yes. yes. Turn around, squat, cough. Yes. You're being strip searched now? Is, is, no. do you, hey, we just met. Can you go ahead and get on the wall, spread your butt cheeks for me? How, how do you feel? Would I be a friend of yours if I asked you to do that? Nope. I mean, what if I forced you? If I forced you to turn around, spread your butt cheeks, and cough, is that sexual assault if I did that to you yes, in your own it home? Is. Right. If I did that to any of your, your wife or your children, would you consider that sexual assault? Yes. Who's in the room when you get when you get have to get so they, they take the torture cuffs off and they say, strip? Yes. Who's uh, who says that to you? Uh, the same cop arrest. Like I said, I don't think he works for uh, Ironton PD no more. The same cop who arrested you is now forcing you to strip search. Yes. So he's getting retribution for you telling him to get the fuck out of your house. Yeah. He uh I had to turn around, squat, lift, you know, take my hand, lift, lift my up, nuts. Lift up, lift up your nuts. Oh. And he told he told me to put my hand in my mouth. And I told him, no, I, I ain't doing it. And uh, he said, uh, he said, well, if you don't do it, yeah, there's gonna be punishment. I said, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not doing it. So anyway, Wait, but, just so you know, this I'm hearing this a lot that the cops tell you to grab your nuts and then put your fingers in your mouth. Yes. And this cop, do you think he's still mad at you for telling him to go himself? Ah, uh, probably. Right. His ego's hurt because he's a beta male. But I've never seen him again. Because he don't have the gun in the badge. Right. Not face-to-face, man-to-man. That's right. Okay. So, now, he tells you, put your hands in your mouth or there's going to be a punishment. And what do you say to him? No? Hell no. Hell no. I'm not sticking my hands in I my said, mouth. I said, let me wash right. my hands. I'll gladly do it. So, you're being treated like you're a, just a piece of garbage. Like, Hell. you don't matter at all. Right? And is, is it cold in there? Oh, very cold. Freezing, right? Freezing. Wintertime, you freeze to death. Summertime, you burn up. Jesus then Christ. Then they put me in the drunk tank for three hours. With the cuffs on. Super tight? Tight. 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 Like I said, uh, I, I wore bruises around both of my wrists. Three hours in the drunk tank? Oh, yeah. Alone? Yeah. Then they finally uh, told me they had a spot. And uh, they come in, they took the cuffs off. And uh, they took me to right lane. And there was probably 116 bodies in there. People oh, sleeping all over my the floors. God. Everything. Is there any place for you to lay down? Any place for you to catch it? Nope. Have you been offered any water? No, nothing. I mean, has anybody tended to your wrists that are that are hurt bad? Nothing. Is there a pillow for you? No. No pillows? No. Nope. Uh, where's the bathroom at in that place? Uh, pretty much in front of everybody. Right in there in front of everybody? Nope. And what happened to you? Is the cop was suspicious of you? Yep. Terry versus Ohio. That's what that is. Terry versus Ohio. Suspicion equals you go to the cage and he gets to torture you on the way and he gets to humiliate you and sexually assault you. Would you show that man your anus any other day of the week? No, sir. What are you charged with? Harvard and Fugitive. <laughs> Which is a felony. Yes. And then do you have to go to court for harboring a fugitive? There's yes. no. What? Yep. There's no evidence. They kept me in there three days. I went to court and he said, how you played us and I killed him. When they was looking for my brother, two days after I was in there, they found my brother. Two days after yes. you were in the in the cage, yes. they found your brother? They found my brother, so. They don't say, okay, we found him, you're free to go? No. But they didn't catch him at your house? Nope. Wow. And they come back here and try to give me a plea deal. I told them to shove it up their ass. Of course. Um, and uh, then I went to court. The judge said, how you plead? Not guilty. Right. I mean, every who's time the I come judge? here, I'm going to plead not who, guilty. Who's the judge? Um, Is it Waldo? N- no, I'm wanting to say... It could have been. It could have been. Who's the prosecutor? Uh, he, Anderson? Yes. Okay. Yes. He prosecutes you? Yes. Wow. Wow. Yep. My God. I played God. not guilty. And not guilty. And they still gave me a year's probation. I had to pay court costs. And then I think it was a 700 You were found guilty? Fine. Yes. Who found you guilty? The judge. The jury? Did you have a jury? Yeah. Nope. No jury. No jury trial? No jury trial. For a felony? Rebellion. No due process of law? None. And then after I got out, 
after they released me, uh, I went and got, I went to the courthouse, got a copy of why I was arrested because I was going to sue them. And uh, they stated in there that I told them I was guilty and I wasn't their lying pieces of shit. I was not guilty. But they stated in there that I told them I was guilty. The judge not giving you a jury trial is the most disgusting thing I think I've ever heard. Yes. You're, you know better. Whoever that, I'm gonna, I wanna see your papers. I wanna see who that judge is. You deserve due process of law. That includes a jury. Okay, so then what happens? So now what do you wanna say to those guys? Go to hell. That's what I want to say. I mean, if they got a problem with it, leave, leave the bed, you know, just uh, let's sign the waiver. You want to you take them in the cage? Yes, sir. <laughs> as long as it's for charity and it goes to charity, let's strap them. And how much did you pay for that? How much money did you pay out? I think it was seven, seven, eight hundred bucks mm -hmm. and a year's probation. And how about how much to get out of jail? I got uh, five days in jail. Five days in jail? No. Torture. Torture. Dungeon. Dungeon dungeon and the food i wouldn't feed it to a pig wouldn't feed it to a pig he, she was being badly abused eventually she be ran off and fired because she was you know tried to be a decent human within the system she joined and so so then you tell the mayor that these guys are abusing you treating you like dog shit differential treatments when i how i clarified it they cut a cat down the middle threw it over the they fence. cut a cat guts out and threw it over my fence and then the next day Bill Garland said I smell dead P-U-S-S-Y.